We once assembled a quadruped robot leg with a timing belt structure to test our cycloidal actuator. The timing belt design was chosen for convenience during the build. But after some tests, we realized it just wasn't the right fit for our actuator. Why not? First, the torque was too much. The belt started skipping. Second, the belt backlash. Yes, the dreaded belt backlash. Now, it's not like we didn't expect these problems. We did. But we were aiming for faster prototyping and flexible design iterations. In the end, we had to move on to a proper linkage mechanism. For our design team, upgrading to a linkage structure to handle high torque wasn't exactly rocket science. Still, there were some memorable failures. This was our first time assembling a full linkage type leg like this. Sure, we've all seen robot legs online using 3D printed low ratio cycloidal actuators. But 49 to 1 ratio metal actuator? That's a rare sight. This leg test was built solely to push our actuator to the limit. Can this slim linkage shaft handle the full torque of our 49 to 1 cycloidal actuator? Let's stack the weight and find out. The power from the 49 to 1 BCSA was impressive. Strong enough to lift almost 88 pounds with a single leg, including the robot body. We had torque stability with the linkage system, but new issues popped up. First, the aluminum brackets cross-section couldn't hold up against the asymmetric linkage design. That messed with vertical force transmission. Second, the motion dynamics code wasn't running properly, yet. But hey, we've identified the issues, and we'll fix them. We'll complete version 3 in the near future. 